Hello and welcome. Let's model this uh, sheet metal stool in on shape. I start in an empty part studio. Press S for sketching. Take the top plane, press N. Normal view to that. P, hide all planes. S, my shortcuts. Take that polygon command. Pull that out, make that three-sided. Take that one to the top, press H, make that line horizontal. Press D, dimension that line with 333. And um, press L. Sketch some lines here. One more over here. And one from here to there. Dimension that point with uh, 26 um, dimension that one with uh, 32 let me zoom in here and um, Take that split command, which is under trim and extend, the split one. Place some points, one over here, one over there. One right on that intersection, same thing over there. And go into the symmetric constraint. Take that one, that one, and that line. And dimension that point from here till there with a 34. All right. Now, mirror um, over that line, that one. And make that here... Uh, construction line and then one circle here didn't mention that with uh, 22 and believe it or not that's it for sketching for this video um, now let's start with a sheet metal design. The sheet metal commands are over here to the right, starting from here. And let's start with the very first one, sheet metal model. So this allows me to um, start a design in different ways. First, I'll take the thicken command here and pick that face and it offers me a, a thickness of two millimeters for the sheet metal with a band radius of one. I accept that um, but I'll make an offset of two millimeters. Okay, let's make that sketch visible again, have a look where that is. Okay, so there's an offset, two millimeter, and a thickness, two millimeters. I will call that um, part top and give it um, an appearance, that one here. And let's take the next one here, which is the flange. So there I can pick just one edge 
and again right away i got a an angle 90 degrees okay but i want this to go downwards and the distance the length of that the width on that flange and i'll change that to 44 and the flange alignment that is where this is going down and see with the flange alignment inner um it's right here where our sketch starts the, so that face is on that very vertex here now i accept that all right um now let's work on the lag for that i'll make that part transparent so you can have a better view of that i take the same command but this time we will take the extrude and i will pick lines that one that one and that one again this will be going downwards the thickness the same one as the top but to the inside and um, the length of that will be 366 just a small nice stool all right there we got the leg i'll exit the transparent mode and maybe we want to work on that lag, make it a little thinner here. So I start the sketch on that face, take the line command, search for that midpoint, and take that up to that one. With Shift E, I'm right away in the extrude. Um, and sure i want to remove up to next great and um, let's mirror that no first um i will make the next flange on the top part so again i'll pick an edge go to that side Make that 18 and have a look. I want this to be on the inside of our sketch. So I go to outer, accept that. And now I will mirror um, that um, sketch over that plane accept that there it is shift e take that region to find then up to next there it is great we can hide that sketch and make a composite part of those two well i wanted to rename that lag and um i guess that colors all right and um to find one mate connector with that edge i press um shift and pick that um point so there it is and now Let's go to the assembly. Place one mate connector here at the origin. Go to the insert. Um, pick the composite part filter and take that one. Place that here. Take the fastened mate. Those two, all right. Um, with K, 
we hide all mates and go into the assembly circular pattern take that take our um, face there make that three and there it is there is our sheet metal stool well I hope you liked that video and found it inspiring I see you in the next one